All right, y'all, settle in for this one. I have to set the mood for this one, so listen closely, okay? All right, that's enough of that, okay? <laughs> Listen, all right. Uh, it is a good song that I recommend to help you heal, okay? By Lord Huron, The Night We Met, okay? There's also a really good, another good song, honestly. Um, and it's called A Song for the Thankful. Hold on, y'all. And this is by, I think I gotta move this. Let's see, A Song for the Thankful. Hold on, hold on, hold on by Avi Kaplan, okay, if I said that right, okay. This one's also really nice too, okay, there's a little section here, okay, I'm gonna just give y'all a little taste of it, and the reason I'm sharing is because, okay, hold on, the reason I'm sharing is because, you know, certain songs can help you heal, all right, and some of you, you need to do the healing part, and this one's really good because this is a song and it helps remind you to be grateful, and it's important for what I'm about to talk about, okay which is essentially that feeling of being played, okay? All right. This one is really good. And there's a chorus real quick. I want to move it forward. Oh, snap. This is the dog's playing. Oh, they that sweet? So listen to those two songs because it's gonna help you. Uh, it's help. It helped it help me heal. So I'm giving you. Um, come on, you still, you silly, you silly puppers! Hey, hey, stop it! <sighs> so listen, stop. Not, no, no, no. <laughs> so listen. Oh my God, here we go. Oh Lord, this is just all kinds of shenanigans on this video, right? <laughs> Jesus. Anyways, baby, you especially. The puppy. Oh my god. Big puppy. So listen, um man, what a long wow, what an intro. Okay. Alright, anyways, this feeling of being played, you need to stop it. This feeling of being played, alright. You need to listen to the other song first by Lord Huron, Take Me Back to the Night We Met. Because for me it reminded me of the night that I met or the several nights basically. That I met my true self. That's how I take that song. Take me back to the night we met. Okay? Also nature. I include nature. Then the other one is by Avi Kaplan, Song for the Thankful, because it is a good idea to... Re it's a good song that reminds you, like it has reminded me, about the importance of gratitude. Get down from there, Missy. Down. Thank you very much. <laughs> it is an important song that has reminded me about the importance of gratitude. Okay? And it's and one of the lyrics in there is about, you know, hey, you could think of it like cycles. So this that many of you are feeling sometimes in your family about being played sometimes has felt like a cycle, hasn't it? OK, like just like as if you can't get out, but you can. The only reason you feel you can't is because for many of you who are probably like very, you know, you're on your own path of self-employment, spiritualism, uh, spirituality, uh, entrepreneurism, trying to do your own thing while creating good change. And if you're like me, you know, reminding people that the natural world is what we need, all right, because that is the, our, our, the real world, okay? Now, what we need to do is plant more gardens, and money should be an extra thing. You could see that in my video about uh, NFTs and the future of money, and of course, this concept of playing and earn is not limited to NFTs. All right, but I go into detail on that on the video. But what I want you guys to realize is that you are the one who creates your story, okay? Now, there are ways you can, sometimes when, with, with family, relatives, and friends, 
you can't talk to them in person because they're too comfortable to ignore or they're too comfortable to uh, not speak to you or too comfortable to even maybe get violent in my case, okay? All right, because you could be speaking some hard damn truths and you're feeling it. And it's like, damn, you've been trying to talk to them for a while. And it's like, oh, not, not happening. But if you put an email, if you write, like I've seen, for example, either through text and writing. I've seen it with my dad as well. You know, then all of a sudden my dad, when I, when I had an issue similar with my dad, my dad was like, that was really well put. That was amazing. I'm like, okay, yeah, but it wasn't to try to be amazing. It was to hopefully help you understand. You get what I'm saying? So anyways, uh, a lot of people, a lot of us, we, we deal with that, okay? Especially our kind when we're spiritualists on our own spiritual journeys. Uh, and the situations do tend to make a difference. In my situation, the finance isn't always there all the time, all right? But that, of course, is changing. Um, but it's like for the world that we're getting away from, okay? My family is used to that world that essentially the whole world globe is essentially trying to get away from you know wage slavery you know valuing valuing materials and how much money you have versus you know your qualities that make you a great person that you can utilize to bring value and of course value is not limited to money either all right and I know this, all right? I've, I've had camping trips and people are so grateful and they've healed and I feel very fulfilled and that is the biggest payment ever, you know? So anyways, um, the finance stuff is extra, you know? But with our families, that's what they care about. That's what they've been taught to see as important, okay? So much to the point that they'll even go circles around you. You could be on your own journey as an entrepreneur and they may not support your journey or your business or their money is going to other businesses instead of yours. They don't understand the concept of keeping wealth in the family. You know, for example, we have dogs and, you know, if I wasn't here with Gramps, I only came here with Gramps, I had the option of going somewhere else personally, all right, a work exchange with everything paid for. And I did it once and I had the option to go back again because I left a great impression, impression on the lady, all right, who, who's in charge of that whole thing. It's a habitat. And I had that option, but my spirit, like many of us, we let our decisions be guided by spirit. My spirit said, hey, no, your gramps needs company. Okay, cool. It's difficult because, again, with family, it's like mood swings up and down and, you know, clashes of understanding and energy and how we understand each other. But when you at least make the effort, it's totally worth it. That I can say. Because when you make the effort and you grow and you see the growth, that truly is amazing. And I have seen growth and many of you have probably seen growth. But you also have to realize that it's also important that you realize that you are in control of your life. You don't have to be around them. And it's not bad. Okay, you, if you got to go somewhere, go somewhere, all right? If you got to say no to something because you would rather have that time for your studies, like in my case, then you say no to that. If, for example, in my case, you know, in my case is that, hey, you know, my mom is going to a two-week um, NYC uh, training or whatever the case may be, all right? It could be a vacation because family has lied before. Um, but they, the option they would have had if I wasn't here okay was hey you have to go they have to pay for a boarding and i've explained to her plenty of times what my path is and the traumas i have had in jobs and right and i'm not going to repeat the same thing expecting different results in jobs all right especially with the traumatic experiences i've had all right working for somebody else all right so anyways i'm on this path of self-employment entrepreneurship studying spirituality growth and it comes with its ups and downs. And sometimes family don't see that. They rather see the downs and they value you on your downs and instead of your ups and strengths. But that's not all the time. Nonetheless, I know that feeling. Okay, And I want you guys to realize that you are the ones who can heal. All right, You are the ones who can take charge of your life. You're the ones, you meditate, close your eyes, be with yourself, and take the action, the inspired action you need to take, and focus. Don't let, don't get yourself to be taken out of focus. All right, focus. Respectfully say no when need to, but focus. Focus and love unconditionally, because trust me, you will be very grateful you did. Namaste.